Hi there. I just thought I'd um, put a little bit of a, a thing in before the video starts on buying a second hand Jimny. I'm sorry about the, uh, you know, sort of movement of the video. Um, I got this mount here um, for the little GoPro session. But because it's got that um, dash stuff, uh, that makes the dash shine on the dash it wouldn't stick to it so what I'm going to do is in that tray there I'm going to clean that up there sorry about the ambulance um, so it sticks in there so I can do my vlogs from inside the car so before the video starts apologies for that to you guys and gals and uh, watch the video I think you'll find it interesting it's just my thoughts on the Suzuki Jimny everybody's different everybody's got different likes and dislikes but yeah thanks for watching here we go right here we are people in the Suzuki Jimny right what is it like to own a second hand Suzuki Jimny well Everybody does their own thing, but um, I think it's an awesome little tool. I mean, me and the missus, um, we go everywhere in it because you know it's the only vehicle we've got. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've done a couple of upgrades. Obviously, um, put a CB aerial on the roof. And I've got a stereo there look, with a pop-out screen on it, which is cool. But yeah, owning a second hand Jimmy. Well, they're a little bit twitchy. A little bit twitchy on the road. But they're going to be because um, obviously it's a small little Jeep, tiny little thing. Which is good for the lanes of Exmoor and stuff like that. Um, but what makes them twitch is obviously the high ground clearance, the um, attack and exit angle. Um, but they're a fun little thing. Um, and they're good on fuel as well. You know, um, they're only a little 1.3 engine, so they're not the fastest thing in the world. But in today's modern traffic, they're fast enough, really. Because, you know, I mean, it'll do 80, 85, but you don't want to be doing that in it, really. But when you drive places nowadays, I think most of the places, to be honest, unless you're on the motorway, you don't really get above 50 mile an hour anyway. I mean, before this I had a Mercedes 2.7 diesel, as I put in one of my uh, previous videos. But because I fly a drone, I couldn't really, you know, go off road in it, obviously, because it's a car. Um, it was a nice car to drive, like on smooth roads, like you know, going down the motorway and stuff. But to be quite honest, unless you're a sales rep, how often do we go on the motorway? Maybe some people do, to, you know, go to work. But um, I find this awesome, and obviously there's a big following of uh, Suzuki Jimny's. Um, in the 4x4 world um, but yeah they're a good alternative obviously Land Rovers are the iconic vehicle for off-road but if you look at some of the YouTube videos on there these will go places just the same as they will anyway um, there's lots of comparisons on there but this gym near was 1800 quid. It's an it's an 04. Um, it's a convertible one. 
so it's nice for summer when, when we get summer. Um, and I think it, uh, I think it drives really well. Um, we're going along a bit of a dual carriageway a bit now, so we're speeding up a little bit. <laughs> I don't push it anyway. I don't push it. There's no point there. Then. Yeah, if you want a little four before. I mean, I'm doing sixty now, which is uh, absolutely fine. Bit of a bumpy road. I mean, uh, what have we done? 100 mile day trip the other day, 150 mile the day before that, through Exmoor and stuff. If you look at my videos, you can see that. Um, and we love it. We usually take a gas stove with us, stuff like that, take the drone, going over them silly rays, painted yellow things in the road that's what you can hear yeah so uh, we do quite a lot and I put the drone in the back as well take me GoPro so it's the ideal vehicle for us so if you want a small 4x4 that isn't loads to tax it's good on fuel fun to drive um, then I would recommend a Suzuki Jimny all day long and they're not expensive, they're basic. You know, they haven't got millions of computers and air suspension. They're a normal setup, you know, ladder chassis, uh, similar to the Land Rover. Most bits come off it, you know. It's just a, a basic engine. If you know a little bit about cars, or if you're a bloke like me and you like to tinker, you can service it yourself. Most things you can even fix yourself. But the spare parts from as well is like amazing, you know, the, the add-ons, you know, you can get the snorkel kits just the same, the lift kits, the big muddy tyres, you know, and you can make them really look awesome. So, if that's what you want to do in life and you want a little 4 before, I'd recommend the Suzuki Jimny. You know, how much is a, an 04 Land Rover? probably three, four times price of this, if not more. Um, and this will go just as quick as Land Rovers are that, that fast. But yeah, I would recommend this. People say to me sometimes, that's a girl's car or whatever. No, I don't agree with that. Definitely not. I don't agree with that. Anyway, as you can see, I'm going along this road and um, just nicely plodding along. But yeah, if you want a small 4x4, I'd recommend these. Definitely, all day long, you'll love it, honestly. It'll make you smile, it'll go anywhere you want it to go, and they're just awesome. Anyway, better go because I'm uh, coming up behind the tractor here so I'll catch you in a bit and stay awesome